About a month ago, Haggerty took the GR Yaris and GR Corolla around Streets of Willow, my local track, and professional driver Randy Popes set a lap time of a 128.3 in the GR Yaris. But here's the thing, I've got a Yaris and I think I might be able to match that time. I am not as good of a driver as Randy Popes, and my Yaris is not the homologated rally car that is the GR. This is my Yaris. So this Toyota Yaris is not exactly stock. The entire interior has been stripped out. It's on 205 RT660s. Gearbox is a 4.3 final drive with a Cusco 1.5 way LSD. Bunch of cool stuff, but the key point is it's still front wheel drive. There has been absolutely nothing done to the engine. It is still the 1.5 liter 1NZ FE. We have a cold air intake and we have some lightweight pulleys and we have a tune and that's it. So if I'm even within two seconds of a professional driver in a homologated rally car, that shouldn't happen. We're gonna see if it does. So this is not a one-to-one -one comparison, but I think most people would assume that this is not even a close competition. I've got half the drive wheels, less than half the horsepower, and probably half the skill. I only have a few chances out on track today, so I've gotta make them count. This little hatchback does have some slight advantages though. One thing is weight. This is 800 pounds lighter than the GR Yaris. If you combine that with the fact that the stock GR has open diffs and this has an LSD, I might be in with a chance. So that's session one done, and immediately I'm already doing a personal best for myself and for the car. And I'm a little over a second off of the time that Randy Pope's set in the GR Yaris. And there's definitely room for improvement in the car. I don't feel like it's at the absolute limit. The tires, I've never run these Falcon RT660s before. The tire pressures at the end of the session were higher than I've ever gotten. Um, they were up at 35 all around. So I think I can start with lower tire pressures um, and maybe get some more grip. Also, the brake pedal's not feeling all that great. I might bleed the brakes before next session. All of that might get me an extra like half second and another round of confidence might get me another half second. This is really starting to close in on that lap time. The next session was consistent, but I couldn't manage to improve on my fastest lap time. The day was getting warmer and I was still getting used to when these tires are in their optimum window. Still, it could be worse. A few of the guys from Donut Media had brought out high and low car to get some seat time. And if you know their luck with Subarus, you know what we were all fearing was next. Well, that's your problem. <laughs> the friggin' filter came off. <laughs> but pretty soon, we found the filter. Someone ran it over. <laughs> you! You probably ran it over. <laughs> yeah, you know what probably happened? This right here 
this job, this Johnny right here is what was holding the filter. So I bet you what happened, it like flopped, caught the wheel, and then the wheel freaking grabbed it. And the weak point was on here, not on there. But there we go. Now we don't need this freaking filter. We don't need filter to here. Just give me the good stuff. Just put right? a so just put a sock over it. High car and low car were both plagued with overheating issues in the California sun. But let's get back to what this video is really about: the Battle of the Yarises. Yarai, Yarises. I've tried to make it clear that these two cars should not be in the same league, but I think Haggerty themselves said it best. The differences between the GR and a regular Yaris might not be obvious at first, but they're outrageous. Unfortunately, the day got too hot for anyone to really make any improvements. So 1.3 seconds off of Randy Pope's time is where I'm gonna have to leave it. And if you had told me that's where I was gonna be a couple weeks before filming this, I would have been ecstatic. But after driving this car on track, I know it has at least another second in it. But the real question is, how does this 100 horsepower nugget of a Yaris even make it into the same zip code as the modern legend that is the GR? The least likely answer is that I'm just that good of a driver or that good of a builder. The far more likely answer is that tires make a really big difference. In Haggerty's video, the GR Corolla laps this same track a full six seconds faster, and they attribute that mainly to the tires. Again, it's not a one-to-one -one comparison, there are lots of other factors, yada yada yada. But my main question is, if I came back to this track with a fresh set of RT660s or maybe stickier rubber like R888Rs, would that make the difference? And also, would that actually mean anything? I suppose the most scientific test would be to have me take a lap in a GR Yaris or have Randy Popes do a lap in my car. And Haggerty, if you uh, wanna make that happen, my DMs are open. But if you're someone out there who's thinking that you need a fancy new car to have fun, let this little Yaris be a lesson. Any car can become a track toy if you experiment with it long enough. As close as we are to Randy's lap time, I think it's gonna be a while before we close the gap anymore, since the next mods for this car are some long overdue safety mods. If I'm gonna be working hard to beat that lap time, I need to know that I'm doing it reliably and safely. So if you'd like to, subscribe to the channel to see what's next for this little Yaris. I'm Joey Rasul, and I'll see you in the next video.